fact that this really is the most unique vessel here at the show. Um, you're stopping all kinds of traffic. It's the first thing you see when you walk in the door. Uh, the color setting off the tone, and once people really take a closer look, they realize that this is something special. Our clients came to us with a, with a vision of, of a light footprint sort of powerboat. Um, they did not have a desire to go fast, so speed was not a, a real uh, prerequisite for the powerboat, but uh, wanted to be comfortable. And they also were cared very greatly about efficiency, uh, having some low impact on the environment around them. They, they just wanted a day boat. They want to do coastal Maine island exploration, but then they're into wildlife. They want to go silently. They don't want to have a noisy, go-fast boat. They want to go slow and quiet, so that's what the electric power does for them. But the diesel gives them the comfort of being able to get back home, you know, when the seas build up and the wind picks up and you know, get back home. And you charge your batteries as you get back. That's right. The, the, the motor, the, the electric motor itself operates both as a generator, a 7kW generator, and a 7kW propulsion motor. And the system is built by Steyr. She's powered with a 75 horsepower diesel. Um, and in diesel power mode, she will attain 14 and a half knots, no trouble. About a five hour range at five knots under electric power. So the, the, the idea is the prop will spin with just the electric power, and the diesel is, is decoupled from the system. And then when it's time to come back home, say the great drain the batteries down, you turn the diesel on, recouple the generator to the diesel, and then now you're, you're recharging batteries as you're steaming home. It's a great system. We incorporated solar panels on the top of this canopy. The canopy is providing a little you know, sunshade, but the, the solar panels will help just trickle charge batteries. The boat is 29 feet. It's about 4,500 pounds. The, the design that was optimized to keep it well driven for an electrically powered boat, so it's light and narrow, it's about seven foot beam. She's very narrow, probably quite a bit narrow, narrower compared to other power boats of this size, uh, certainly, um, with creating a low resistance hull. If you take a look at her underbody, you'll notice that she's kind of a round bilge boat with a, kind of, with a modified chine as she runs aft. And that's just to really allow uh, the water to, to move around her freely. And exactly. It's a very sharp entry. As I said, it's very narrow beam. It's kind of rounded and bilges forward, but as it flattens out after the run, is very flat. In fact, there's a little hollow in the stern. It's actually a strip plank cedar. Um, there's a cedar core, and then sheathed in unidirectional carbon. In other words, the carbon is sheathing on the outside of the hull and the inside of the hull for a core of cedar there. Very strong, very light, but this boat kind of blends around the traditional lines with, a, with this kind of leading technology, kind of carbon, or lightweight kind of technology and construction. The quality of craftsmanship in this boat is just phenomenal. We'll see more boats like this coming uh, to the market in the future, but, but going fast presents a big challenge where it consumes a lot more power. Yeah, it's exponential. And uh, we believe that there's a real niche uh, for something like this in the lower speed ranges, the four to five, maybe six knot range, where uh, you're not worried too much about the amount of batteries you need to carry. A lithium ion phosphate mm -hmm. battery system to go to those speeds. Um, and it's not a challenge to replace that energy into the batteries when you're ready to recharge. This is a uh I, to my mind, is one of the first really high-tech kind of departure-looking designs. It's totally different from anything we've seen here before. Right? Wow.